In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the spacer block on your Squarespace website to customize everything. When I first learned how to use this spacer block, it's when actually things started to click for me. If so, if your images are too big or too small, or you can't get your text to look just the way you want, or if you're still trying to cram your content into some pre-built template and it's just not looking right, this is the video for you because you're gonna be able to make any type of layout you want using these spacer blocks as your guide. Let's get right into it. So here I am in a demo site, and the first thing that we need to explain is that spacer blocks, or really all websites, are built on a 12 block system, meaning that you have 12 different blocks to be able to play around with, no matter how wide or how small your page layout is. For example, I have 12 different spacer blocks listed out through here, and just to make it a little easier to see, I put an image underneath to demonstrate that. Now, if I click the pencil icon in my uh, in Squarespace and then I change the content width to medium, then you'll notice that there are still 12 blocks. Same thing if I do this and I change it to small, still 12 blocks. Now, the pictures or the images might be smaller, but there's still 12 sections to play around with. And by the way, if you want to change the section height or the section width of any section, this is where you do it, right? So if you want a smaller height or a medium height, I generally use a medium width because it's good to have some white space or general spacing on the outside to help make your stuff look more clean. Now, if you want to customize this, you can click the three dots here to be able to make this exactly the number that you want uh, within the small, medium, and large guideline. I'm going to click medium, and this is where we're going to operate for today. Now, the first thing we want to see is if I have a huge layout, right? So I've got a text right here at the top, and then I've got this giant image. I want to be able to make this image just the right size and also the text just the right size. So here's how I would do it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this pencil icon and I'm gonna make the content width medium. Okay, that helps a little bit, but it still got some room to grow here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to click this plus insert icon and I'm going to select two spacer blocks. From here, I'm going to click, hold, and drag this spacer block till it's at the side of this image. Now you'll notice that uh, depending on where I drag this, you can tell where the spacer block is going to drop. And if I put it here, it's gonna take over the entire right-hand section. I want it to just go on the right side of the image. So I'm gonna move it down. I'm gonna move it left a little bit. My goal is right here. There we go. I'm gonna click it. Cool. So now the image is significantly smaller, but it's also not <laughs> not centered. I want to fix that. So I'm going to take this other spacer block and I'm going to put it on the left hand side of this uh, square. Cool. Now it's centered, but it's also kind of small and I don't like that. So in order for me to change this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click this uh, divider between the image and the spacer block and I can make this bigger or smaller. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Cool. Now I've got this image, it is centered and it is at a reasonable uh, width. I can do the same thing with my text box or really any block if I want to make it smaller on the page. Go on the side. Cool, that's better. All right, that's a little bit more manageable. That's fine if I have just a single column, and this is what we would call a single column layout, where I have some text, an image, and some text underneath. But let's make things a little more interesting. Next, what you're gonna commonly see is the 50-50, where you have an image on the left or the right, and you have text on the other side. To make this is really simple. All I did was take two spacer blocks, put them next to each other, and then, I, um, and then I dragged the image underneath. Now notice how when I pick up the image, I can drag it underneath each of these spacer blocks. That's how I assign it. So for example, let's do this one more time. I'm gonna click this plus icon. I'm gonna click a spacer block. I'm gonna click this other plus icon. I'm gonna click another spacer block. I'm gonna put it to the side of that one. 
Now these are divided equally. I'm going to click the image. I'm going to drag it underneath the spacer block. I'm going to go over here, click, drag, and hold till it's underneath that spacer block. Now these are divided equally and I have a 50-50. This is super common. If I wanna change this up and I wanna have my image on the right-hand side and my text on the left-hand side, no big deal. And I just put it in the wrong spot, which you're gonna do a million times, no big deal. Next, we have the two thirds, right? So this is where two thirds of this space of these 12 block systems are being taken up by one spacer block. And then the last third is taken up by the image. And notice all I did here was take this from a 50-50 and drag it left to where it's two thirds, right? And so I can drag this as small as I want. I can drag it as big as I want. Um, and I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have the equal thing. So this is like a two thirds section. It's another super common section. Next, something that you're gonna commonly see is the three column section. Oftentimes you'll see this when people are trying to promote products or they're trying to show the steps that it takes to do business with you. This is a super common thing. But what you're gonna notice is it's just like the 50-50, except we have another spacer block here. So instead of having two, I have three spacer blocks underneath, and then I just drag my picture and my text underneath each one of these, right? So if I were to do this from scratch, I would just click this plus icon. I'm gonna click three spacers. And then I'm gonna drag these spacers next to each other. Now I've got three equal columns, right? I can take this and I can put an image underneath each one of these. Click the plus icon. I'm gonna click my image, awesome. Good, now this is going all the way from the left-hand side to the right side, I don't like that, I want it to look a more, little more clean. I'm gonna click the pencil icon under content width, I'm gonna click medium, and now that's a lot more um, clean. Then I can take these uh, this text box and I can put it underneath each one of these so that I have some text to drop. And I can do the same thing with all three of these. Now, maybe you're looking at this and you're saying, yo, I don't like how there's a bunch of space now between the top of this section and the actual image block. Well, the cool thing is that no matter which section that you choose, right? So if I build out all of this stuff with spacer blocks, and then later I want to go and delete these blocks, all of my content is going to stay right. It's just gonna slide up, right? So you build things out and you set things with spacer blocks, but then when you're done with them, you can delete them and everything's gonna move right into place the way you want it to. So you can do this with as many different types of things as you want, as long as the amount of blocks is going to equal out into 12. Remember, you have 12 total sections that you can work with. So you could do a set of three, a set of four, a set of six. Right, But what if you wanted to do something like a setting five, right? So if I look over here at Orbit Media, they have this text, some more text, some more text, and then they have five sections. Well, how do I create five equal sections if I only have 12 blocks to work with? The answer comes down to using half of a block. So I have one, two, three, four, five sections, and then half a block here and half a block here. So that these are all the same height width, they work, but then um, I have half a block on each side to be able to frame those. And then the content width is pretty large, right? So that's how that's done. If you have an unequal or an uneven amount that you want to be able to display. Another common web design that you'll see is something I call the menu. I'm actually not totally sure what it's called, but we have an image on one side and we have text on the, the other side. All the images are stacked on each other. All the text is stacked on each other. It kind of looks like a restaurant menu. The problem is it seems like simple. You just want to follow the same stuff that you were doing, right? So you want to be able to have two different spacer blocks. You put all the images here, you put all the text here. The problem is that when you click this into mobile and I click the mobile preview icon, I notice that it displays all the pictures and then all the text. I don't want that. 
So how do I get it to be more in line with what I'm looking for? Well, if I scroll down here, I have another menu. And if you look, and I take this and I take this menu and I go to mobile, I have the image, the text, image, text, image, text. How did I do that? All I did was set this with spacer blocks ahead of time. So I have a spacer block, a spacer block. I put them underneath. Then I put a whole new spacer block to divide this stuff. And then I did the same thing and repeated it with a different image and different text. Whole new spacer block dividing, two spacer blocks to divide my content. Then when I'm done and I've laid out everything exactly how I want, all I have to do is delete my spacer blocks and my content is going to slide up exactly as I want it to. Now, when I click this mobile preview, you're going to notice it's going to go image, text, image, text, image, text, just how we wanted it. Cool. So there's a million different ways that we can play around to be able to make these layouts the way we want. We can have a big old image and then a list of three things on the side. And then when I take out the spacer blocks, it looks something like this, right? To where there's a lot happening and then it's still going to display in order that I want it to. Something else that's really important with Squarespace is that no matter what you lay out, when you go to mobile preview, it's gonna display the content on the left-hand side first and then show the content on the right-hand side. So when I click mobile preview, it's gonna show this square, this blue square and this text, and then it's gonna show this stuff. Let me show you what I mean. Blue square text, image text, image text, image text. Now, there's so many ways that you can have fun with this, and it's the same type of principle. This is a 50-50, and this is a 50-50, and then I have a menu layout here. When I went to Headspace for some inspiration, I saw that they had their blog layout really cool. So they had this one long image and then two square images, two more square images. And it's the same thing if you want to be able to do this within Squarespace, right? So. All I did was lay this out, so I have half of it taken up, I have a 50-50 on this side, 50-50 on this side, half of it taken up. And I can customize this stuff so that it looks exactly how I want it. I can round the corners, all of that stuff, so that it looks similar to what I want. Really, you can do just about anything in Squarespace that you see on any other type of WordPress website when it comes to basic layouts. And the cool thing about this is that when you start looking at websites now, you're gonna start seeing them in terms of sections and how things are laid out. And you realize it's actually not that complicated. Right, so for example, if I go to Band of Coders, I see that they have a 50-50 where there's an image on one side, but then they have a menu on this other side. I have a three column layout. I have a straight up 50-50 on the beginning on the homepage of their website. If you go to my own website, I have a 50-50. I have a one, two, three, four, five, six column uh, layout. I have two images right here on this side, and then I have just one text block. One last thing is that if you ever misplace a spacer block, so say you grab a spacer block and you're trying to put it to the side of this image, but you accidentally put it right here, and all of your stuff shifts over, you're like, oh no, I've ruined everything. You have a couple of choices. You can either just press Command or Control Z, and it will go back to normal, no big deal. Or you can delete that spacer block and then um, start it over at the top. But it's not a big deal. Um, if you ever need to do that, Command or Control Z, and you can go back and fix it. If you have any comments or if you want to know anything else about how to use spacer blocks or any questions about customizing the layout of those pages, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will respond. If you want to see the full course on how to design a completely custom Squarespace website, you can find that linked up in the description box as well. All of my love and I will see you on the next video.